So I made a Loom automation video a little while back and one of the main questions that I got from it was, how do you even do a Loom prospect outreach video in the first place? What are the things that you should say? How do you go about even recording something like this? And all these types of questions. So I thought what I'll do is I'll put my most important principles for successful high converting Loom videos into this video right here. I spent years and years and years generating leads right now. And honestly, some of the information I see out there, it's not great when it comes to actually pitching people and making offers to people. So hopefully I can clear up a little bit of confusion and make this super valuable for you. If you need even more support on this, I've included a little link down below. If you visit that, I can send you an actual word for word script that I've used in a high converting Loom video and also a demonstration of exactly what I'm saying so you can get things like tonality down. In the meantime though, let's jump straight into some of the best principles for getting your Loom video together. So for the first principle, one of the most common questions I get is how long should my Loom video be? And I've seen a whole bunch of SMMA gurus take a hit at this question and say things like, it can't be longer than two minutes. You gotta make sure it's as short as possible, but they miss out a very, very important nuance when they say things like this. So first of all, the shorter, the better, generally, but there's a reason for that. The main reason is if you record a 15 minute long gloom video and send it to a cold prospect, you risk them A, not watching it anyway, and B, them actually being compelled to watch it, but they think to themselves, eh, it's a bit too long. I'm actually just gonna put this at the back of my to-do list and I'll get to it later. When they say things like I'll get to it later, you know your prospect is never, ever, ever gonna get to it. It's not available enough for them. However, if you have a video that's over two minutes and it's not converting very well, it's most likely not because of how long it is. Let me say this bit loud and clear. A person who's going to get bored because your video is slightly over two minutes is never going to buy from you anyway. One of the first people to ever teach me about marketing, his name's Ramit Sethi, and he was like one of the OGs of marketing. He said that he used to make really, really, really long sales pages and he used to get complaints all the time from people saying, your sales pages are way too long. I don't want to read all this. And he said he doesn't really care because those type of people aren't going to buy from him anyway. He's tested it and he still manages with really, really long sales pages to do upwards of 7 million in a single week. So I'm going to listen to him and not some of these SMMA gurus who are like, you got to keep it under two minutes, guys. Principle number two, the quickest way to attract a prospect's attention is by making it super personal and quickly building up rapport. There's no better way to do that than to say the person's first name straight away. So if I was gonna to say to you, uh, hey there, um, hope you're doing well, I've got this blah 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 video for you here, um, you're probably gonna lose interest pretty quickly. If I say to you, hey John, and it calls your name directly like this, it's the same as when you're in a room of people and somebody mentions your name far away, they might not even be talking to you, and it instantly gets your attention. And this comes from the book, How to Win Friends and Influence People. One of the principles in it is remember that a person's name is to that person the sweetest and most important sound in any language. Make sure you include the prospect's name in that. Unless you're doing automated looms, in which case the quantity that you're pumping out should overcome the quality of each loom. Principle number three, you've got to promise big, but you've got to keep it real. One of the most common reasons I see for people not having their outreach or their loom perform very well or their pitches is because A, they're promising way too big or they're promising way too small. If you promise way too big, you actually lose trust because the prospect thinks to themselves, ah, this seems fake. This seems too good to be true. And it actually doesn't work. Going back to the guy who made $7 million in a single week earlier, he said he released a program called Earn 1K. And the program was designed to help people earn an extra grand a month on the side. He said that the clients and customers who went through the program actually earned a lot more than that. But he said if he named it earn 10K or earn 100K, he actually ended up losing their trust because even though it was a real result, people thought it was fake. So he, he actually lost trust and earn 1K was much better. So you've got to promise big, but not too big. If you don't promise big enough, people think, well, that's not really a problem I want solving. So you've got to work out what audience you're aiming at. You've also got to work out 
How do you hit that, that balance in the middle? Next principle, clarity is key. Craft a clear and compelling message. What is your core message? What is it you want to get across? The amount of people and um, pitches I get on a day-to-day -day basis where I think to myself, what are you actually offering? So the best way to overcome this is to actually write it down and then speak it to your audience whilst telling them the benefit. So here is a good little line you can use. You can just take this and use it straight in your Loom video. I help, blah, 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 do get achieve, blah, 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 buy, blah, blah, blah. This allows you to blah, blah, blah. So this right here is the benefit on the right hand side. This is the group of people that you're helping. This is what you're helping them achieve. And this is what you're actually doing. This is the process, right? So this could be, I help students get their dream job by teaching them networking skills, this allows them to effortlessly get paid what they're worth, right? Do you see how that's a really compelling message and it's, it's clear? I help dentists get more clients using Facebook ads. This allows them to focus on their business and not actually worry where their next client is coming from or customer, whatever. You see how that's clear and concise when you put it down. And here's one other thing that a lot of people in this industry, agency industry, SMMA industry miss. They don't spell out the benefit to them. Tell them what the benefit is. Is it time they're getting back? Is it freedom? Is it money? Tell them specifically, spell it out to them. So they think to themselves, huh, that will help me with etc. And they might even think of other benefits to your own service that you're offering them as well. It's just a simple technique, but it works really, really well. Next one, know your audience, pain points and interests stand out from the crowd. I'm going to tell you a quick story here, which helped me stand out. So I went through a stage where I was pitching cosmetic dentists. And I don't know if you can tell from the video, I've actually had cosmetic dentistry done myself here. I had braces initially, and then I had something called composite bonding afterwards. And it made me feel so much more better about myself. It made me feel more confident and it helped with my self-esteem as well. Now that's an exact story that I tell during my video pitch. You're sitting to yourself at home thinking, what does composite bonding mean? You don't know, and that's precisely the point. Only my audience will know that. And the dentist will have heard something similar before in the office. This is real, by the way. I've not just made that story up. And the dentist will have heard that story before when they've dealt with clients and customers. And instantly they'll think, ah, if I was going to work with someone, I'd actually work with this person right here because they, they seem to know who I'm trying to target as well. They've been in their shoes. Do you see how I've instantly stood out from the crowd by just telling that quick little story there. Things like this, it's an unfair advantage when it comes to marketing. List down what your unfair advantage is. If you're aiming it at people, um, an industry, an audience, think to yourself, is there something I know about these guys? Is there a story I can share which will actually make me stand out a little bit? How much do I know their pain points and interests? The next one, show, don't tell. Use visuals to enhance your pitch. Provide social proof. So what social proof is, is humans, this is the boring psychology bit of it, is we have a tendency to need to conserve our energy, our mental energy as much as possible. And what we do is we look to what decisions other people make to basically judge what decision we're going to make. So if you walk through a crowded supermarket and you see a whole bunch of people queuing and crowding for a single product, you're naturally going to have your interest peaked. And the reason why is it's social proof. It's drawing you towards it. Humans are all the same in this manner. So show results, testimonials, graphs with charts and things like this. That will actually show them results of what they can get. Not only this, but if you show, don't tell, it accounts for visual learners as well, who maybe have switched off a little bit in your pitch, you know, because you're just talking and talking and talking. And instead it lets them tune in and be like, oh, this is, is very easy to demonstrate this visually to me. For those of you who click on the link below and actually get my video, you'll see me adding in casual bits of social proof throughout the video and accounting for those visual learners. The next point, keep it conversational, relaxed tone and language. 
I don't want you to go and record your loom video and be like, I help doctors, blah, 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 blah. I need your money because it just screams that you're after one thing. If you think about dating and being in a bar, right? And you walk up to, you know, a person you find attractive and you say to this person, hey, you know, I find you really attractive. Uh, can you be my girlfriend, right? It's not conversational, it's not relaxed at all, it looks like you're only out for one thing. The same thing applies in marketing as well. Bring your personality in a little bit. Feel free to make a little bit of a joke when you're making your Loom video. Let me just tell you, so many people are using Loom videos and 90% of them are bad. The competition is relatively easy to beat here, but you just have to think a little bit outside the box. Don't be a robot, bring your personality in. Tell a story people hire and work with people they like it's one of the principles of the entire world there's that old saying that promotions are made on the golf course not in the interview room where people have been really working hard and have provided all these great answers to the interview questions they're made on the golf course prior to the interview even taking place because people hire people they like so be likable the next point, call to action. Tell them exactly what they need to do. This is a simple one, but most people have a tendency to forget. You don't need to embed some crazy link in there. All you need to say in your video pitch is, um, send me a message if you'd want to talk about this, or even say it in your message with the Loom link in it. Send me a message if you want to find out more about this. Doesn't need to be tough. It doesn't need to have like a big flashing red button. You just need to say, if you want to find out more about this, this is what you need to do next. So that's some of the main principles from recording a Loom video for yourself that will actually help you stand out from the crowd a little bit. Again, if you want to see a video of me actually doing this and demonstrating it, or you want the full script, click below and enter your details and all that and I'll send it over to you. I've not quite got all that ready yet. However, I should have it by the end of next week. So I'll take your email addresses now and then I can just send it to you when it's ready manually. So hope that really helps you. Let me know what you think below. If you found this helpful, uh, let me know. Uh, take care. See you in the next one.